Hello everyone, my name is Chuck and you're watching episode 173 of Let's Plan. Yes, it has almost been a year since I last posted a video. A lot of things happened during that period. Obviously, the main thing would be the lockdowns, the pandemic. I also started working in a new fully remote job as a software engineer. This means that I work from home and I do not have to spend a few hours each day commuting to and from work. Compared to my previous job, I absolutely love what I'm doing here and I always look forward to work week. This is the closest that I've been to having a dream job. Maybe this is a dream job and I haven't realized it yet. Unfortunately for my garden and for my channel, I haven't been tending to them. All I want to do is code, code, code. I feel like I'd rather code than do anything outdoors. I've even spent some time and money improving my work from home setup. Now, while it is a major factor, I wouldn't completely place the blame on work. Because you know, I could work on my garden after hours or during the weekends, but I simply choose not to do that. And that's because I'm a hay fever sufferer. It's actually much worse this year compared to the last year. Every spring, the grass and the trees would be spewing out pollen into the air and it gets very windy, pushing and pulling and spreading the pollen everywhere. My eyes and nose would be constantly irritated whenever I'm outdoors and I would have to keep myself indoors, make sure the doors and the windows are shut. How many times did I said doors in that sentence? Basically, I get relief by staying indoors. Apart from the pollen, we were also getting lots of rains and thunderstorms. Fortunately for me, this means I do not have to water my plants since most of them are out exposed to the rain. However, this also means that the grass and the weeds were spreading and growing much faster than they used to. It's the middle of summer, pollen season is finally over, it's time to clean up.
I've barely just started working on the rehab of my garden. Cleaning up is just step one of a series of tasks. There's still a lot of things for me to do, things like trimming, chopping, repotting, replanting, separating, propagating, you know, all of those plant maintenance tasks. So far, I've just given you a sneak peek of what the garden looks like overall. In the next few episodes, we would be diving deeper into the garden so you get to see all of the gory details. You'll see exactly just how much Chuck has neglected his garden. <laughs> I hope you don't mind me recording indoors because in here I get to control the lighting and the sound, unlike outdoors where I would have to wait for ideal conditions and I often have to fight the wind. Hopefully this means that I get to push content regularly again from now on and I am no longer at the mercy of the elements. I've got a lot of videos planned, I just have to figure out my recording schedule. Please don't forget to do all of the YouTube things. Like this video if you enjoyed it, subscribe so you get posted of future uploads, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!